good day everyone so today in this video i will be sharing 24 unwanted services that you can disable from windows 11 to speed up the performance of your pc and laptop so in windows 11 various services are running in the background and some of its services may not be useful to you but they are still running in the background and utilizing a lot of resources so if you want to optimize your windows 11 to improve the performance then you can go ahead and disable all these services so that you can get the better performance so without any delay let's quickly get started so in order to bring up the services you will have to click on your windows search type services then from the suggestion you have to click on services app so now here the very first service that we will be disabling will be assigned access manager so assigned access manager service is used to set up the kiosk mode that allow you to place restriction on your computer this mode is not needed if you don't use a public facing computer okay so you can double click on it now click on the startup type drop down and from manual or automatic you have to choose it to disable and make sure that the service status has been stopped if not then you can click on stop to stop the service click on apply click on ok now next we have the BitLocker drive encryption. So you can disable the service if you don't use BitLocker to encrypt your hard drive or SSD. So again you can make a double click on it and choose it to disable. Click on apply. Click on ok. Then you have the Bluetooth audio gateway service, Bluetooth support and Bluetooth user end support service. So you can disable them if you don't use any of the Bluetooth devices. Alright so you have to do with all these four options here. So double click on it, choose the startup type to disable. So once you have disabled the Bluetooth services, now next you have to look for the connected user experience and telemetry. So come to the C section and then you have to look for connected user experiences and telemetry. Here it is. So this is responsible for sending your image and diagnostic data to the Microsoft server and that exactly we don't want. So again, make a double click on it. The startup type, choose it to disable, stop the service. And then you have to click on apply, click on OK. And now the next one is the diagnostic execution service, diagnostic policy service, diagnostic service host, and diagnostic system host. So come to the D section and look for the diagnostic. Here it is. The first one you will find diagnostic execution, then you will find diagnostic policy service and system host so you will have to disable all four of them and basically this is for the windows troubleshooter and windows troubleshooter is no longer supported on windows 11 so it's really recommended that you should go ahead and disable them okay so once you have disabled all four of them the next one you have to look for the geolocation service and download map manager so in the d section you can look for the download map manager once you get it make a double click on it startup type choose it to disable stop the service and these services are used to use the map on your pc so if you don't use any kind of map service on your pc then you can go ahead and disable them so once done click on ok now next you have to look for the geolocation and we have already disabled the download map manager so come to the g section and you will find the geolocation service double click on it choose it to disable click stop the service Click on apply and click on OK. Now next you have to look for the net logon. So come to the end section and you will find the net logon. And this service is only for the domain network. You can disable it if your computer isn't part of any kind of domain or any kind of network. So basically this is for the organization. And if you're not connected to any organization then you can go ahead and disable it. So double click on it. Choose it to disable. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now next you have to look for the optimized drive. So come to the O section and you will find optimized drive. And you can disable this service if you like to defrag your hard drive manually. And majority of the people even don't use it. So again you can double click on it and disable the service. Stop the status. Click on apply. Click on OK. And next we have the parental control. So come to the P section you will find the parental control. And this service restrict the children computer use which also majority of the people don't use so again you can go ahead and disable it then you have to look for the phone service 
and this service basically handle the connection between your computer and the mobile devices and if you don't have any such requirement then you can go ahead and disable it click on apply click on ok then you have to look for print spooler and this service you only have to disable if you don't use any kind of printer on your computer if you use the printer then you can skip it but if you don't then you again open it and disable it now next you have to look for the services related to remote desktop that will be remote desktop configuration remote desktop service remote desktop service user mode port redirector so come to the r section and you will find remote desktop configuration here and these services you can disable if you don't want to connect to remote desktop session okay and even it's recommended that you should disable it because it helps many kind of hacker to attack your computer remotely okay so double click on remote desktop configuration disable it stop the service click on apply click on ok do the same with the remote desktop service choose it to disable stop the service apply ok do the same with the remote desktop services user mode disable it apply and ok and now next we have to disable the sensor service so come to the s section and you will find the sensor service and it manages the integration with sensor like gps and ambient light sensor so if you don't have any kind of requirement again you can double click on it and choose it to disable click on apply click on ok and then we also need to disable the smart card services as these services are related to authentication on windows devices but you can disable them if you prefer using a keyboard for login like if you go with the password or pin to log into your computer then you can disable this option so double click on it choose it to disable apply ok do the same with the smart card device enumeration service double click on it choose it to disable click on apply click on ok ok now i understand that this will be taking a lot of time but trust me guys once you disable all this service and after that when you will notice your performance you will find a great change so make sure that you do not skip any one of them and disable all these services which you are really not using ok now next we have the windows biometric service so come to the w section and you have to look for windows biometric service and it enables the fingerprint to unlock functionality on your laptop so if you don't use this feature double click on it and disable it then you have windows error reporting service here it is and it will capture the event whenever you face on error on windows generate information about the error and send it to microsoft for further diagnostic and it's really not recommended at least personally i want to recommend you so what you can do again you can double click on it and disable it click on apply click on ok then you also need to look for the work folder here it is and this service basically sync file between a centralized server and the personal computer so again this is for the organization for the domain and for the personal use it's not recommended again double click on it and choose it to disable and make sure that all the services status are being stopped click on apply click on ok then you have to look for the xbox accessory management and you can disable all these xbox services if you don't use the xbox application so double click on it and choose it to disable stop the service click on apply ok now part of this what else i would recommend you you can look for a service by the name windows insider service and this is an optional service that you can disable if you don't want to join the windows insider program ok and many people they don't join it and if you also don't want to join then you can disable this service double click on it and choose disable stop the service click on apply click on ok now you can also look for the fax service i just missed that fax many of the people they don't use it so if you find any fax service on your services list then you can disable it if you don't find then that's okay next you can also look for the wallet service uh, this wallet service you can disable if you don't use any kind of wallet on your windows 11 machine so again double click on it choose it to disable click on apply click on ok then you also need to look for windows mobile hotspot service and this is only for the people who don't use any kind of hotspot for connecting the device so look in the w section and if you find any service related to windows hotspot then you also need to disable it then you can also look for the device speaker here it is 
and you can disable it if you don't use mirrorcast dlna or dial.ui which majority of the people don't use so again you can make a double click on it and choose it to disable click on apply if you get this error the parameter is incorrect then you can close it so now we are all done now part of this it's also recommended that if you have any kind of third party a uh, tool or application that you were using before and now you have uninstalled it but if you find that application services in the list here then you also need to disable from here all right so once you are all done now finally go ahead and restart your computer and after restarting next time when you will bring up your windows 11 and bring up the task manager and this time when you will click on the performance tab you will find that the process the thread and the handle count has been decreased and the cpu memory usage also has been reduced so once this all will be reduced the performance of your computer will be boosted and you can enjoy more fps while gaming or without any kind of lagging problem so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye